There was a time when Clydesdale horses like these worked on farms all over Lanarkshire. They've long since been replaced by tractors. So to see some, we've come to see these at the National Museum of Rural Life. They're lovely, aren't they? This one's Anna. And this one here is Mari. Hiya. Now, Clydesdale horses have appeared in the form of brightly painted sculptures all over Hamilton, so we went to see what people thought of them. What do you think of these horses then? I think they're amazing. I think it's a great thing for Hamilton to have them here. Uh, I've seen them in other countries, um, in Copenhagen, they had elephants and had them all decorated, and I thought that was a great thing when I went to that city and talked about it and told people about it. So I think this is a great new thing for Hamilton. Uh, I think everybody, families and kids can really enjoy going on the trail and finding them. Has there been quite a lot of interest in it? Yeah, I have spoken to a few people in the um, local cafe. They've got the leaflet out now, so mm -hmm. picked up the leaflet and I've talked to a few people about it, so there's a bit of interest. Is it appealing to kids? I think so, yeah. My uh, friend, her teenage daughter, is going to have a friend coming up from Wales this weekend and she's going to go around with her mm -hmm. and take pictures and um, put them onto the website and things like that. So oh. they're interested in it. So yeah, yeah. I think other children find it quite interesting. Okay, Catherine, how, just tell us about your design, how you came up with it. Hamilton's home to Chatler Road, which was the Judith Hamilton's Hunting Rock Lodge. He had a hunting ground made up of oak trees and those oak trees are thought to be the, the oldest oak trees in Scotland. So how long did it take you to paint the horse? It seemed like forever. <laughs> um, it took about a month, but that was sort of odd days a week. Um, two days here, two days there, because obviously most of us are working artists or working work elsewhere. And what's going to happen to them at the end? They are going to be auctioned um, in aid of the Kilbride Hospice. I understand that we're hoping to build a hospice for this area and all the proceeds will go towards that. So then they'll be scattered about depending on who buys them? Yep, it's a public auction. It's open to anybody, mm -hmm. um, anybody that's got the money. I think the marvellous bring a lot of colour and excitement into Hamilton and into the outlying areas, especially Park. And it brightens the place up as well. I mean, it's good for it's good for Hamilton, it's good to, to get a little bit of something interesting. And that's why I like it. And that's why you like it. <laughs> Beautifully done. Um, uh -huh. And the one at St John's Church, I think it's quite appropriate, it's a Harlequin. But it's actually, it's like Joseph in his multicoloured coat. So I think that's quite appropriate as well. Where they've been, where they have actually been positioned is quite appropriate to the area they're in, so oh, yeah, it's excellent. We're yeah. spending the summer finding them all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Angela, how did you decide how to paint your horse? Um, when I was deciding how to paint it, um, it was really, the thing that always fascinated me about Shatler Road as a child was the, the part of our gardens and I just thought mm, it would make such a nice abstract design on the side of the horse, I wanted to make that a real feature. And you used to come here as a child and now you bring your own children here, is that right? <laughs> Yes, so I've got a lot of fond childhood memories coming here. Um, my mum and my dad were, were always fond of the place. Um, and I was born in 1982, so the, the lodge was still quite newly refurbished when we came here. It was still quite fresh. Um, the, the restoration only finished in the early 1980s. How difficult was this project for you? Um, the, the statue itself can pose a few problems, as I say, it is three-dimensional, so just physically getting around it and having to paint the underside of the statue um, <laughs> is one thing to see a photograph of them, but when you actually come face-to-face -face with a six-foot Clydesdale horse, um, they're always that little bit bigger than you expected them to be. 